Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if after you're running an SFC scan now or system file integrity scan, you get an error or message saying that Windows Resource Protection found corrupt files but was unable to fix some of them. So hopefully in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve that. So we're going to jump into it and we're going to start by opening up the start menu or start search and we're going to type in CMD. We're going to open up a command prompt window. So underneath command prompt, it should say desktop app. I'm going to right click on that. And then I'm going to left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control window, you want to left click on yes here. So now in this elevated command line window, I'm going to give you guys a command that I want you to paste into this command prompt, or you could type it in manually. You want to go up to the top bar of the command prompt window, right click on it one time, go down and left click on edit, and then left click on paste to paste this command in. So if you want to read it out here, it's dism space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup slash image space forward slash restore health. And once you have it as it appears on my screen, again, whether you want to type it in how it appears or you want to paste it in from the description, that's fine either way. Just hit enter here. If you did it correctly, it should say deployment image servicing and management tool. This will take some time to run here, so just be patient. And once we get rolling, I'm going to let it keep going on the screen here so you guys can get a better feel for how this process will work.
Okay, everyone, you can see the operation has completed successfully here. So at this point, what you can do is type in SFC space forward slash scan now. Hit enter. Let it run the system scan now. Hopefully, you won't have the issue you were having beforehand. And this should be good. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.